All right, this is it. Welcome to the final area, everyone, and the last stage of the game. This is Bagula's lair and base, believe it or not, is actually sent on a flying comet. Heading towards Earth, Bomber Planet, whatever you want to call it. Either way, it's still their home world at the end of the day. I think he has spent weeks, well, not weeks, years, planning for this next attack. Those steamers, thankfully, just send you up in the air. They don't do any damage or any some sort. And we didn't get a Louis egg for some reason. That is really strange because we always get one at the very beginning of the first room. Those skull bombs can be really powerful. Treat that like an extra bomb hidden inside there. And really use it to your advantage. Those rotators can actually send you flying in the direction that it's going in. It's spinning. I'm going to do a quick example here. Imagine I did that. Then that bird who can shoot missiles accidentally launches one. Well, intentionally. And I couldn't stop after being launched by one of those things. Yeah, that would absolutely render me defenseless for a second there, and he could totally capitalise on the situation. Hence why I always stay away from them. I only decided to show that off at one time. Hence, I don't do any stupid cock-ups. Extra life. Even though it's relatively pointless, because we're already at the maximum number. Now we can have a bit more fun at the expense of them. You were going to destroy that block. Well, guess what, Boxer? Access denied. Let's go all the way round. And do it the old-fashioned way. Because, of course, that's just our typical style. Already on to the second floor now. More of these guys, there was an item, probably a fire or a bomb one, which I give absolutely no shits for. Only at the beginning, but not anymore, I don't. And those things look very similar to the slow-moving pace ones you saw back in the jamming jungle. And of course the falcon ones who were blue back in the previous world, Thrashing Tundra, in the Snowy Land. Must have got an upgrade while Bagula was accidentally cloning them into new mutation versions. Or maybe that was just intention of doing so, to make them more stronger in the long run. And we get another hit, extra hit point here. Absolutely splendid. I always like a challenge at the end of the day, and this certainly is. How very fitting for a final level. You, sir, must not pass. I must box you in, thanks to the power of my bombs. Where are you going? Nowhere, of course, because you're dead. Ha 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 ha! Here we are, the final room. And our last chance to find an egg, which is our only other hope of real salvation. Do not let them pass. They must perish by blowing up their robotic corpse. Which is of course means a remnants of them, which was right there. Yeah, that's it. Come on down, mate. Saves me having to come to you. Where is this confounding egg? It's somewhere. I know it is. You guys blocking it are not going to help the cause. Now we are absolutely free to just blow up every goddamn one. 
There it is. And the final door is unlocked. Speedy! Oh, I am a very happy person right now. Let's face the final boss. Which we all know has three phases. This is his first one. He has these rotator projectiles which can shoot lasers from straight and diagonal directions. Take out all four. Make it real less of a threat. Especially when you've got remote control bombs. Two free hit points and a kangaroo, all at your dispense. Then this guy is not really much challenging at all. Only besides the fact that you get a game over and you have to redo this again. And this robot can actually shoot much more bigger lasers out this time. We've got to attack the head, which it takes five hits, six hits to kill. Only allowed him to do one of each attack. Which of course, that's only the two things that he can do. <laughs> Look at the cross-eyed knockout there. That's not very nice, just showing your own creation. Well, mind you, we blew the damn thing up. This is his third and final form. Believe it or not, he is actually quite difficult. Because he'll just kick bombs at you, then... He'll generate four more, flying up in the air so we can't hit him. And that will quickly detonate in just like one second, so you've got to get out of the way quickly. No, that was my dumbass mistake. But his sacrifice will be made, as Bagula is defeated. For the very last time, at least in this game. As he goes back to the center, drops down into unconsciousness as we fly away in our ship. We still had four minutes and five seconds to spare during that fight. Absolutely dominant performance there. And as the comet blows up, he falls out from it. I hate to think how the landing's gonna be. Victory belongs to us, once again. Now here comes the credits. Which is again, my all time favourite. Ending to see. So with that ladies and gentlemen, this second run of Mega Bomb Man Revisited is officially finished. I'm a bit disappointed that I made one clumsy error and cost Speedy his life. We didn't get to see much use of him during that final moment. But no doubt he'll probably be back again somewhere soon in the future. And bornman has got some really good piloting skills there, avoiding all those rocks that came his way. As we head back down from space, the sky, well, the first word is more fitting to it. And now there's Revenants in Water. Music Composer, yeah, those names I still can't pronounce. They're probably in Japanese. Again, I'm not very good at saying... I'm not even going to attempt. And there's the moon. Those buildings must be the city. And now Flying Stars. <laughs> there's the cry guy. The pink kangaroo, who was relatively useless. The banana boss from Jamming Jungle. There's Bagula. Presented by Hudson Soft. And with that, we're about to say the end to this game once and for all. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you've enjoyed this twice back to back in a year. Catch me next time where I'll be returning to my Burnout Dominator playthrough. And then after that, Bomb Man Hardball videos once more. For the last time, this is me signing off. Tune in next time. Take it easy. Bye-bye.